morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Danny. <laughs> she's, so, she's so funny. So, I'm sitting here watching some videos in the parking lot of Walmart. I, I came across this video I really liked um, with, vicinity, with Chrome, Vicinity Van Life. And it's really a good video. It's very well done. Of course, all of his videos are very well done. About a woman who is wants the van life adventure, but doesn't necessarily look, you know, want to go full time, but still wants to enjoy all the adventures of traveling around and just getting away. It's really, a, it's really a well done video um, get, with the tour of the inside of her her van. I really like some of her ideas, and I may use a few of them myself in my camper um, especially this one that I'm gonna show you about how she puts a I'd like a table in her across the van door or your where her kitchen and her van door is you got to see it it's really kind of cool and uh, thanks Chrome for doing such a great video love watching you and love your upbeat your real upbeat um, outlook on living this life, this nomad life. Take a look, everybody. So this here, just comes on here, the light goes underneath, fits in nice and snug. So these are stainless steel bolts I had left over. And da, da I can sit here and have a table. So Stephen, the wonder man, <laughs> he also put this in for me. It just slides in. So I'm sitting here and I'm going, man, it'd be nice to be able to just have a laptop here or work here. I went, brainwave. So I always carry tools with me. So I got out my drill and came up with this. Okay, I got this stuff, it's packing material. So I just cut the side of the leg out. It's perfect height. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, it's awesome. Just do it. And then you guys have these guys like Chrome that are just out there having a blast and an adventure. He's doing it full time, but you don't have to do it full time. You can still have that adventure. So anyway, thanks so much Chrome. I really, really, this was a blast. Was I love fun. sharing my van. <laughs> Looking at getting out and living your best life. That's going to start with one thing. You actually following those thoughts in your mind and the feelings in your heart. Even if you start like Elaine and build a camper van and put it in your driveway and use it as a weekend getaway or that just that time you just need to unplug. You never know. Camping alone out in the desert. Quiet. Just the whole experience of the whole trip, the road trip. I'd never been there before. It was amazing. Well, yeah, I'm still sitting here in my tiny home on wheels. And I'm in the parking lot at Walmart. There's a little traffic jam behind me. <laughs> but I'm watching videos and I'm watching enigmatic, enigmatic, nomadic. I think I said it right, Jamie. Enigmatic, nomadic. And his newest video, part one, from the van build with the seminar by Will Prose. Now, Will Prose is like the guru of solar. I mean, my friend. Deb's Van Ventures. She designed her, the whole inside of her solar system and the rig and everything and the board where she's got her inverter and all her wires, you know, put on this board really nice and neat in her van behind her seat, uh, easily accessible. She did all that. She did the whole schematic on it based on Mr. Will Prowse. 
Yeah, and everything she learned from his book. So, and all of his videos. And he tests out different products, and he tells you in his videos which ones are the best. So, uh, one, there's two videos, that, two different creators you want to check out. One is going to be Jamie in a Matic Nomadic, in his part one and part two of the Van Build chat with Will Prowse. And then go to Will's channel. Check out the advice he has to give. Here's just a little bit from the Van Build 2019. Hey guys. So, typically I talk to a camera all day, so this is very new to me. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to talk about some of the, like, the safety things that I think everybody should know with solar power systems, because if you screw it up, you can catch your whole rig on fire, and that's the end of it. So, um, I want to also take a lot of questions from the crowd, and I think that will be a good way to direct like the... Um, the flow of the conversation and try to figure out what you guys need to know with solar power systems and I do not want to put you guys to sleep because electricity stuff can be very very boring I mean I will put you to sleep in seven minutes flat so, yeah let's kick this off first with talking about cheap wire and cheap stuff on Amazon because a lot of people see these inverters and um, wire that is cheaper than other options and you're like oh it's on Amazon it has lots of good reviews I'm gonna buy it and then I'm done go check out their channels okay hey everybody well a lot of different opinions out there about making your own hand sanitizers and what's best let me tell you something when it comes to cousin Vinny okay my research has showed me that you can use a lower strength that doesn't have to be 90 percent rubbing alcohol isoforyl alcohol it doesn't have to be 190 proof grain alcohol from the liquor store because you know what 190 proof alcohol is not legal in all states that's correct and i'll post the states again here on this buzz but several states do not allow you to purchase 190 percent alcohol so if someone's telling you they're buying it at walmart and they're in a state that it's illegal they're not buying 190 proof alcohol at walmart okay 151 grain alcohol is available at walmart in most states if they have it in stock. I just bought a bottle, as I stated in my video last night, that I released. 151 proof alcohol Everclear. Everclear is 75.5% alcohol content, okay? That is going to kill the virus. If you look at the contents of what's in the hand sanitizer, it's only 60%. Most hand sanitizers, and I have a bottle right here, I have several bottles here, the content of alcohol in it is 60%. So you have to make a judgment that's gonna be best for your family and for you. Wouldn't you rather have 151 proof Everclear with a 75.5% alcohol content and use that than use nothing at all? Or then use a 60% hand sanitizer that you purchased in the store? They've price gouged and jacked up the price so high. What's going to kill that that uh, virus germ, that Cousin Vinny? What's going to kill that Cousin Vinny? And you can also add a little essential oil in there if you want it to smell really nice. Okay? But everybody's going to have their own opinion. Everybody's going to tell you they're correct. Do they have a degree? I don't have a degree in, um, you know, mixology as far as chemistry but I've read what the CDC has said and I've read what physicians have said the government's not always going to tell you the truth I mean I don't trust the government do you and they're... hey cousin Vinny in my house we made our own homemade Dago red yeah okay or homemade moonshine you can use 151 proof and it will kill the germ, according to physicians that I have quoted 
right here. Okay, folks, use your best knowledge. And like I said, using 151 alcohol with a 75.5% alcohol content is a lot better than using nothing. Especially if you're in one of these states that it's illegal to buy 190 proof alcohol. And remember, there's no 90% isoforol on the shelf. There's no 70% isoforol on the shelf. And there is no 50% isoforol on the shelf. So what's a girl to do? What's a mom to do? What's a dad to do? What's a person to do? You get what you can get. Wash your hands really good with soap and use this stuff as an extra precaution. So Bad just got a new video out about um, hitching up a fifth wheel. Let's take a look at it. just a little bit from his new video. Go over to his channel and watch it. He is helping Robin, Creativity RV, with learning how to drive her rig around and hook up her fifth wheel and back up and drive and tow the whole nine yards. So let's take a quick look and check out Badge. Everybody needs one. I'm gonna hook it up to show you, but what you wanna do is you wanna lift up the trailer so that it just clears here, like a eighth of an inch or so, so that it just clears there. You do not. And I mean do not unlatch that latch and drive the truck out from under it. You never do that. You put the legs down, you lift it up so it's just off the hitch, and then you um, drive out from underneath it. Now, most of the tra trucks, Dodge, Ford, they're all, this is a Ford by the way. Okay guys, I want to tell you one more thing. <laughs> Okay, I want to tell you, I've been taking this for probably almost two years now, and I have not been sick at all. This is colloidal silver. This is the brand of colloidal silver right here. It is sovereign silver. It's an immune support. Okay, I take this. It's a natural cure that people don't want you to know about. It. They took it off the market a long time ago. Um, you know, back in the day when pharmaceuticals started getting popular, the owners of the companies didn't want us to know about the natural cures. This is one of them, all right? All I do is, this is a big bottle. It's expensive, it is pricey, but you know what? It lasts me a long time. I even use it for Danny. I use, not even a full eyedropper because it doesn't take that much, but. Hold it underneath my tongue for 30 seconds and then swallow it, okay? This is a immune support. It's bioactive silver hydrosol. It does not turn you blue. I'm not blue and I've been taking it for two years <laughs> and I don't get sick. I don't get the flu. I don't get the grunge. I don't get sick, okay? The minute I do feel something come on, say I forgot to use this or take it, I automatically take it, you know, and start taking it more than once a day but to maintain I'll take it once a day it's like a teaspoon a day uh, one teaspoon five dropper fulls so it's it's okay to give your kids I can even give it to Danny I put it in Danny's water she's feeling a little down you can buy it at Sprouts you could buy it at any health food store usually um, I, I'm not sure if you can get it in the pharmacies or Walmarts. I've never seen it there, but you know, you have to look around and you could buy it online. In fact, I sent a bottle to a very good YouTuber friend of mine. I'm hoping that she's using it to keep her immunity up. And also you can put this on topically to heal wounds. It does heal them faster and leaves less of a scar. So I was uh, told about this through a, a a lady that I was traveled with, Deborah Coleman, a pill free in my RV, can of lady, but um, it's worked for me and I thank her for telling me about this. And I'm even considering 
learning how to make my own, get my own little machine and make my own because it might be cheaper because a big bottle is pretty expensive. So, thanks. Stay well. Everybody be happy out there. Everybody be healthy out there. And watch out for Cousin Vinny. Today and not tomorrow.